Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day seven. So yesterday we imported a group of contacts. Thanks again, Brooke. Shout out to my RTT friend there that gave us that uh, fake contact spreadsheet. Today we're going to talk about some ways to filter, sort, and then save some smart views for those contacts. So let's dive into the contacts applet. Second icon down here, you can see we have our new series of fake people in our contact database. To filter these contacts, we've got a big button here, kind of right next to our search bar that says filters. So if we choose filters, we have a drawer that sort of slides out from the right hand side here and we get a series of different filters that we can apply. So you can see that we can filter by the type of contact, whether we've designated it as a contact or a lead. We can search for specific filters. We can go in and search for lead source and agent site connection, whether they've made a, uh, a, an account on our agent site or our app. We'll get into that later on in the challenge. We can see if they are or are not subscribed to a neighborhood. We're going to get to that when we get into smart plans, uh, so on and so forth, right? So you can see all of the different filters that are available. And anytime we enact one or more of these, it's going to change the view that we see on the screen. So let's say I only want to look at my cartoons. So I'm going to go into tags. I'm going to search for cartoons and I'm going to apply that tag. And that way I'm just looking at my cartoon characters. So that's a very simple filter. I could click on apply. And now instead of having 12 or 13 contacts, we're down to just five contacts. All right, so that's just one example of a filter. Now, maybe there are times where you're working your database and you only wanna look at a specific group of contacts. So maybe if you have buyers and sellers and sphere and VIP and open house leads, etc. Perhaps you only want to look at your buyer-based leads. Well, this would be an example. In this case, we don't have buyers in the database, but that tag could have just as easily been buyer if you're using that tag versus cartoons. If that's a view that you want to see frequently, you can actually create what's called a smart view. So a smart view is basically just a filter that you want to come back to very regularly. To save a smart view, we can come in and click on this drop down where it says smart view all contacts and we're going to create a smart view. And when we create that smart view, we can come in and say, this is our cartoon characters smart view. Now, if this is how I want to see my database every single time. I can set it as my default, but if it's a smart view that I just want to see occasionally, then I don't have to set it as my default. If I click on save smart view, you'll see that our smart view button here has changed. If we want to go back to our default, we still have our all contacts default, and that'll take us back to our full database of all 13 individuals here. So if we want to go back, you can see we just toggle back and forth. There are some additional smart views that have already been created for you. However, if we want to get to that cartoon character smart view, we just toggle back and forth. All contacts, cartoon characters. In addition to the standard filters, which you can see again here on the right hand side, and this view has changed recently. So if this looks a little new to you, we have changed the filter view. In addition, we now have some advanced filters. So if we click on advanced, we can now come in and get some sort of um, includes, excludes, if we came in and said, hey, we want all of our cartoon characters, so let's go look for the tag that includes, right? So you can see includes any, includes all, excludes any, excludes all, is empty, is not empty. So maybe we want um, anyone that has cartoon or our movie characters, right? So you can have multiple tags and by saying includes any that's going to have all of the contacts that have cartoons or movie character if we said includes all then it would include anyone that had both cartoon and movie character so this is an and includes any is an or if you will 
If you come in, the same would hold true. So if we exclude, this is going to say, hey, I want all the contacts in my database that does not have a cartoon or movie character tag. And you can see you would do the same. Excludes all would be any contacts that don't have cartoons and movie character. And then you can see is empty, is not empty. So where any of my contacts that don't have a tag at all would be is empty, is not empty. So let's say we want to find out any of our cartoons or movie characters. And we want to find out any that have a primary address. So we're looking for any any contact in the database with one of these two tags that also has a primary address, which would mean the primary address is not empty. So if we apply that filter, now you can see we have six characters in our database, right? All these fake characters that have either cartoon or movie character. Remember, we said they could have either one of the two tags that also have an address. Well, right now we can't actually see the address column because we haven't selected it. We'll customize column, select primary address and choose apply. And now we can see that address is here. Once again, if this is a filter that we want to use regularly, that took a little work to set up. We could come in and create a new smart view. And this would just be cartoon slash movie with address. And now I can save that as a smart view. By default, when I leave the contacts applet, I'm going to come back into contacts with my all contacts smart view. But if for that particular time, I wanted to see, hey, all of my cartoon and movie characters with an address, maybe I'm going to send out some direct mail or do some pop buys. Here's an easy way for me to see all the contacts in my database with one of these two tags that also has an address. So that's the ability to come in and filter our database and then apply a specific smart view or save or create a new smart view. And then sort of a throwback to when we were adding our custom fields, the ability once again to customize our columns. That's it for today, guys. Day seven. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. And as always, I'll look forward to seeing you again real soon.